This is Gene Key, KDD News. A motorcycle driver remains in the hospital with life-threatening injuries after an accident in Amarillo. Police say 74-year-old Joanne Brown turned on to Sansi in a truck Monday afternoon when she was struck by a motorcycle headed south. The driver of the motorcycle, 43-year-old Keith Horton, and his 11-year-old passenger, Haley, were transported to the hospital. Horton remains in life-threatening condition. The young girl was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The driver of the truck was released from the scene. The accident remains under investigation. Police are investigating a vehicle pedestrian fatal accident that occurred Tuesday morning on South Lakeside Drive in Amarillo. The accident happened shortly before 8.30 Tuesday morning in the area of 100 South Lakeside Drive. Police say 67-year-old Rodolfo Tellis was killed after being struck by a car. According to police, two men, including Tellis, were standing outside a grain truck in the center turning lane. Two trucks were in the center lane waiting their turn to pull into a grain elevator. That's when police say a car driven by 28-year-old Willie Adams traveling southbound on Lakeside lost control and struck the driver's front of one of the trucks. The car then hit Tellus. Tellus was pronounced dead at the scene. The other man was able to jump out of the car's path for the most part and suffered only minor injuries. According to Amarillo.com, a Roman Catholic priest nationally known for his anti-abortion activism is being accused by his bishop of failing to account for millions of dollars in donations. Bishop Patrick Zurich of Amarillo is ordering the Reverend Frank Pavone to stop his work outside the diocese and return to Amarillo for prayer and reflection. This is Gene Key, KDD News.